This time on Rock Up Racing, the team has embarked on an ambitious project at their garage, Coastal Motorsport. Robert, in a bold move, purchased a Porsche 911 RSR site unseen, all the way from Seattle. But this isn't just any 911 RSR, it's an out-and-out -out race car, a 3.8-liter beast. Their mission? To transform this track-focused machine into a road-legal dream. It's an endeavor filled with excitement and anticipation, yet undeniably, there will be bumps along the way. Converting a dedicated race car into a roadworthy vehicle is uncharted territory for the team, who have previously mastered the art of turning road cars into race machines. Will their experience from the track to the road be enough to navigate this uncharted territory? Join us on this thrilling journey as Rock Up Racing and Coastal Motorsport takes on the challenge of converting a race car into a road car, one bold step at a time. Welcome to Rock Up Racing. Welcome to Rock Up Racing again, um, and welcome to Coastal Motorsport. So, um, it's an update really on the RSR and what we're doing. Um, as you can see, there it is all sort of Mad Max esque, all disassembled. So, um, there's huge plans for this um, essentially, uh, turning it into a road car from a race car. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. This is exciting. This is exciting, isn't it? It's exciting, Tom. The iron filings on the end of my socket are the, the bits that make your average breakfast cereal good for you. Is that right? Yeah, but not in such large quantities. I wouldn't eat it. Oh. It is exciting, though. In a fascinating twist, this RSR started its life as a 1969 Porsche 911T. However, it's not your typical 911T. Under its bonnet lies the beating heart of a 3.8 RSR engine from a 964. But the modifications don't stop there. At some point, an ambitious individual took on the challenge of transforming this vintage gem. The entire car underwent a meticulous overhaul, with every component carefully stripped and reworked. The exterior now boasts fiberglass 993 RSR body panels and only weighs an incredible 890 kilograms. So we might be taking the cage out, or at least half of this cage. This cage is... It's not the best cage, ugly. is it? It should follow this B pillar and it doesn't, so that's obviously not ideal. Yeah, this being so far forward means the seat not has to be so room. far forward. Robin and I can fit in it, and we're both 6'3", so... Yeah. Alright. 6'3"? 6'3", yeah. You're 6'3", are you? Yeah, 6 on a, on a good day. Uh, yeah, we're by me. Tom, wasting no time, dives headfirst into the project. His first task? Cutting out parts of the cage. Anything from just behind the driver's seat forwards on the roll cage is deemed unnecessary and must be removed. Next on the list is the meticulous removal of the RSR engine. With a few successful extractions under their belt, the process unfolds relatively smoothly. The convenience of having a ramp significantly expedites this critical phase of the project. We think a 993. Um, having done a leak down test on it, cylinder one has like 32% leakage, which is enough to worry you. You know, probably an exhaust valve or maybe piston rings or something. So I think it's the perfect excuse for us to kind of strip it down and get used to doing this kind of thing. Um, having not really fully rebuilt anything like this before, it's gonna be a learning curve. For Despite not having fully rebuilt a 911 engine before, the prospect of learning firsthand right on their own car is simply too good to resist. It's an American engine, so it's gonna be quite interesting to see if there's actually anything custom in there. Yeah. If there's some kind of rod bearings or something that have been shaved down, um, or you know, or something something which has made the engine rev a little bit higher. Top valves, and rebuild. Yeah, valves, valve springs, valve stems. Um, and then, you know, if it, if it escalates to something that's going to 
involved doing the bottom end as well. Than it is what we it did is. talk about just maybe doing the bottom end just because. Yeah, just because, yeah. The plan is set. They are poised to undertake a meticulous top end rebuild on the RSR motor. This intricate process promises to be a challenging yet rewarding endeavor. And it's a pivotal step in the transformation of this extraordinary portion. What about the, the gearbox? It's a G50 gearbox. Yeah. Um, 964993 had it. Um, oh, okay. It's, uh, yeah, basically the best gearbox you can get for these. Is it? The gearbox, you know, even like Ultimas and stuff, kit cars, they, they use it because it's super strong. 66 kilos, I think they weigh, so it's not that heavy. Um, Have we got to do anything to it? We're going to clean it. So it's, yeah. It's <laughs> pumping crap, but apart from that, I think it's good to go. And yeah. While they're rebuilding it, because Rebuilding them is a bit of a minefield. I and can imagine it's worth about ten grand, so it's not really, yeah, not, not really worth enough, yeah, fiddling with it. Messing if it's about okay. if it's working. Yeah, I like it. Right now, let's get to it, to it, to it, to it, to it, to it, to it. <laughs> Um, right. What are you doing with the body of the RSR? What panels are you ordered? You're changing it. Yeah, two point eight RSR panels. That looks like this. Insert the picture. Insert picture. As the 911 now stands apart, the team is fully prepared for the extensive journey that lies ahead. With a new workstation and engine stand on the way, they're ready to dive into the meticulous strip-down of the powerful 3.8 engine. The anticipation builds as they await the delivery of the essential body panels, which are set to arrive next month. The road ahead is long and challenging, but the team is poised for the adventure that awaits.